Assalamu alaikum, my name is Muhammad Shamas Riyaz, you are watching my YouTube channel. In this video, we will see that how you can simulate a heat exchanger in S Pen Plus. Uh, heat exchangers, as we all know, are used to exchange heat between two process streams. In S Pen Plus, uh, you can do rigorous design as well as you can do shortcut design or calculations. In rigorous design, overall heat transfer coefficient is calculated by taking into consideration of film coefficients as well as thermal conductivities. Uh, rigorous design includes uh, design, rating and geometry of heat exchanger according to Tima classification but in shortcut method it only calculates the enthalpy balance or you can say energy balance and overall heat transfer area requirement for the required heat transfer to happen. Now coming back to our simulation I will directly move to the simulation problem. It is a very long problem. I am going to explain it to you very quickly. We are having a stream. Fluoride has been given to us. Its composition is equimolar consisting of ethanol and acidic acid and it is uh, basically a cold stream and its temperature is 20 degrees. We want its temperature to increase to 80 degrees. The uh, And this cold stream is heated by esterification products. The temperature of these products are 200. Composition of this stream has been given to us by here. And now we what we want to calculate, we want to calculate the uh, you can say outlet temperature of this stream. So you can say the esterification product stream having this composition, we want to find its outlet temperature and its initial temperature or inlet temperature is 200. Uh, and we have to find the uh, required heat transfer area for this uh, heat exchanger. So now uh, we will move to our simulation here. The first step is to add my components. So my first component is ethyl acetate. So I will uh, ethyl acetate. Mm, so here you can see that this is ethyl acetate. I will add my component. After this, my second components will be water, ethanol and acidic acid. So here I will take write as water, uh, ethanol and for acidic acid I have to again to go to this find button and acidic acid. So now here I have to find the acidic acid. So this is our acidic acid add selected component. So now our so now you can see that our components uh, have been completed. After adding components, I will press this next button. Here I have to add a property package. So I will take as NRTL as my property package. Here you can see that uh, some binary coefficients are missing binary interaction coefficient you can say are missing so I will press this estimate using unifact and then I will press this next button. After this I will press this next button. So now I can move to the simulation environment. You can see that we are in our simulation environment. The second thing in exchanges you can see is a heat exchanger or you can say heat x. So now uh, you will drag this block onto the main screen after this, uh, after increasing its size, I have to make uh, my connections for material streams. So you can see that this is cold stream. So and this is cold outlet. So you can, uh, and this is my hot in and hot out. So you can change uh, their name as C1 or you can say C in uh, and here you can write as C out for your uh, representation of hot and cold. This is uh, hot in and this is hot out. Now after making connections I will uh, specify or you can say define my material seams. So I have to differentiate between cold and hot stream. So I will, uh, I'm going back to my simulation problem. So this was uh, this stream, this stream equimolar ethanol and acidic acid, acidic acid stream having this fluoride is my cold stream because it is having temperature uh, 20 degrees and we want its temperature to go to 80 degree. And this stream and the hot stream, this stream uh, is at temperature uh, 200 degrees 
and we want its temperature uh, because it is having high temperature we, ha we have to find the outlet temperature. So I had uh, specified that what are my cold streams and what are my hot streams. So I am going back uh, to my uh, simulation here I will double click on it. Pressure of my cold stream inlet was at 20 degrees, uh, pressure was 110 bar, kilo bar, kilo pascal sorry, so I will kilo pascal. After the, uh, that flow rate uh, was mass flow rate, so I will here write as mass and it was kg mole per hour and 5000 kg mole per hour mass fraction and now uh, that was my equimolar uh, feed of ethanol and acidic acid. So ethanol and acidic acid. So this is ethanol equimolar so I will write 0 0.5 and acidic acid 0 0.5. After this I will press this next button. Now uh, it says that we have to specify the uh, specifications of our hot inlet stream. So, so the temperature of our hot inlet stream was 200 degrees pressure was same as 110, 110 sorry kilopascal and having same flow rate of 5000 kg mole oh sorry it was mass flow so 5000 kg per hour and uh, here I have to select as mass fractions for ethyl acetate my mass fraction was 0 0.4 for water uh, my fraction was 0 0.4 for ethanol and acetic acid the fraction were 0 0.1 after this I will press this next so now we have so now we have to specify our heat exchanger block uh, model. Uh, we are doing shortcut calculations, hot site location, uh, not necessary in this case. You can uh, define if it is given to you. Uh, flow direction we are taking as counter current design mode. Uh, we want only design specifications. Here you have to define uh, one of the specification out of many. So here in this case uh, we have been given to us the cold stream outlet temperature because uh, it was given to us uh, that uh, the temperature of the cold stream inlet is 20 and we want it temperature to be increased to 80 degrees. So you can uh, f uh, if you are giving it hot stream outlet temperature, hot, lit hot stream outlet temperature decrease or any other thing heat duty you can uh, select any one of them but in this question we have we have been given uh, the cold stream outlet temperature. So we will select as cold stream outlet temperature and its value is 80, 80 C. After this, if you want to calculate the heat exchanger area as it was given to us, then uh, we will select this dis uh, rating. Uh, if you don't want to uh, find the area, so you will only select this design. But in this, we have to uh, find the heat exchanger area. So we will um, uh, select this rating. Here we will give an initial guess of 10. You can give any guess. Um, but I am giving here as 10 uh, square meter. After this uh, overall heat transfer was given to us. Uh, so what was the overall heat transfer coefficient? It was 200 watt per meter square Kelvin. So here uh, I will write uh, select as 200. I will select the unit. So here it is written as uh, kilowatt meter square Kelvin. So here I will write as 0 0.2 as uh, there uh, was 200 watt per meter because I am writing in kilowatt so I will write as 2, 0 0.2 kilowatt meter square per Kelvin. So you can see that, so now you can see that our run button has been activated so I will press this run for my simulation to happen. So now you can see that my results are available. Uh, so this is our block. Uh, I will drag it down and here you can see the thermal results. I will press this thermal results and here you can see the temperature of my hot outlet uh, stream that is 128 degrees. Now, uh, now we have to find the uh, overall heat transfer area. So this is uh, exchanger deta uh, details. We will press this exchanger details. After pressing this exchanger, uh, exchanger after pressing this exchanger details you can see that here this is the required exchanger area uh, for this heat transfer to happen 
heat duty is also calculated you can change the units as uh, required by you so uh, i hope you like the video inshallah i meet you in another video uh, assalamu alaikum